Hello guys, I thought I'd share my Mac desk setup for you guys today since it's just like it's November now, it's actually the 4th of November. Um, it's Christmas is on its way and at Christmas I tend to get a load of new technology and I've got some big updates planned for the setup. So I thought I'd show you what it is now and then I can show you what happens to it later on probably early next year. So without further ado I will get into the setup and we're going to start off on the right hand side actually just on this little table down here where I have my iPad Air 2, it's the 64 gig version uh, I use it most days actually, it's quite light, handy to carry around it's in this nice blue case which is quite handy, keeps it safe and protected this is my iPod 5th generation, it's not on it's the blue one as you can see there it's in this nice little case I've got for it doesn't get much use. I think it's 64 gigs. Actually, no, it's 30. It's 32 gigs. Sorry, doesn't get much use though. So I can't remember. And this, this is proper old. This is an iPod Touch fourth generation. It's a whole eight gigs. It's in a nice Avengers case, as you can see. Again, literally never gets used because it's so old. But it has still got songs on it. It does still work, but I just don't use it very often. So now we can move on to. The main tattoo flag, like, before we get into all of this stuff, we're going to start over here with the old Mac. Now this is my iMac G4. It's the 15 inch display. Uh, and as you can see, the specs are up on its screen right there. It's 512 megabytes of RAM. It's 700 megahertz power PC G4, Mac OS 10.2. Again, obviously, it's not particularly powerful. In fact, it's really underpowered. Basically, everyone's phones are more powerful than this machine is. But I think it just looks really cool, and it fits nicely into the corner. It's, it gives a nice look to the setup overall. Um, the speakers it's got, it's got the, the, the Apple Pro speakers, I think they're cool. So there's one there, and then there's one on the other side. They do sound pretty good, even by today's standards. So sometimes I do like just to put some music on, and then the entire room... Uh, it's just quite nice for that, but that's pretty much all it can do. It has got a keyboard and mouse that are much newer than the machine itself. I have got its original mouse, but it doesn't have a scroll wheel. And I kind of like to scroll with it, so I sort of need that. And the original keyboard is really yellowed, so don't use that either. And this looks a bit nicer. One cool thing I do like about the iMac G4 with its design, actually, is how the screen sort of floats. So if I pull out my chair here and sit down, you can see how the screen is sort of floating above the keyboard. Now this is quite cool because it's a fully adjustable screen, it takes not much effort. So I can make it go up like that and it sits a bit taller. We'll bring it all the way down so it sits really low to the desk. And of course it has got 180 degree swivel but I can't demonstrate that because of the walls. You can also tilt the display. I think it's a really cool machine. I think it really adds to the setup, even if it's not really that useful. It's nice to have around. It's one of my favorite design computers ever. So I thought, why not put it up on the desk? After all, it is a Mac. So now I can move on to the main setup, where I have my two 24 inch Acer monitors. They are only 1920 by 1080 but I do plan on potentially upgrading them shortly to a more 4K kind of setup. I think that would be nice but as of right now, these are what I have. Uh, there's just a general basic 2.1 surround, well it's not even surround really is it, but just a 2.1 speaker setup from Logitech. Controllers are there, headphone jack, power on and off. Volume control on the top. Underneath the desk is where the subwoofer is. Just ignore the cables. I have done some management of them, but it's not really finished yet. But as it's coming up to Christmas anyway, and I'm probably going to be updating stuff, there's not much point doing proper cable management until the new stuff is in place. Again, we've just got the Apple Wired keyboard and then the uh, Magic Mouse, which I, I really like. It's a really cool design. It's really nice to scroll, it fits in the hand quite well, I do like it. And it also goes quite well, the keyboard's quite nice. It fits the whole theme of the desk, really. Uh, now, the main computer that's actually running this right now, believe it or not, is a late 2014 Mac Mini, which, as you can see, I have behind one of the Acer displays. 
It sits right there. It's, uh, it's the Core i5, it's the 2.6 gigahertz, the 8 gigs of RAM, Intel Iris graphics and a terabyte hard drive. Now, it's not that powerful, especially not by today's standards, but that is one of the things that I plan on upgrading in the near future, whether it be a new Mac Mini or a different Apple computer, I've not decided yet, but that probably won't be there for much longer. Well, I say it won't be, it will be used, but it might not be the main Mac for much longer. It's been pretty good for the few years I've used it for, but I think it's retired an upgrade, especially since it's only got a hard drive in it, and really everything is moving to SSDs, and my two main Windows PCs both have SSDs in them that I've upgraded them to, and obviously that's got a hard drive in that Mac. Now, yes, I could potentially upgrade it to an SSD, but I think it might be worth, it's only got a dual core processor and that's really a struggle. So I think it might be time to upgrade the Mac entirely to something a bit more powerful and then continue to use that as like a backup or some sort of file server or something like that. Because it's still a decent little machine, it's just not main Mac standards anymore. Now, as I did mention, I do have some Windows PCs. I do actually have another whole half of the room. This is only part of it. But as I've only just recently managed to get into this room after it's been redecorated I'm not going to show the other side because it's a bit of a mess right now so I'm just going to show the Mac side it's the side that I finished first so anyway yeah that is that that is my Mac setup for I guess you could say late 2018 uh, soon to be upgraded hopefully and this is just a before before Christmas before it gets upgraded the last thing I suppose I could mention is the chair I don't actually know what the chair is really it doesn't fit with the setup, but it is quite comfortable, and I do like it. So yeah, so that, that is the setup, it's the whole thing. So if you like it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to answer any questions in the comments when, as and when I get them. And see you in the next video.